Jason Hollis Farms today. Hadn't done just a whole lot today. I did shoot my bow a few rounds there. Truck talks to me. I shot my bow a few rounds there, trying to stay dedicated to that, keep my shoulder in shape, trying to get it stronger. We're doing pretty good. I could see working my way up pretty easy and getting back to that 60 pounds or so not that i have to but if it gets to where i can pull it back easy easier and handle that 60 pounds again without being able to practice and not hurting that's what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna probably continue to do is uh keep them shooting the little mission hammer and then as i think i'm getting stronger i'll probably get the mission i mean the uh the matthews uh, uh monster back out and and play with it and just i thought about getting rid of it but i may not get rid of it just yet but anyway i've had a few, few comments about something over here in the barn i'm pulling over here and i get in the barn i'll be right back all right you. so i'm in here in our old ai barn that we don't use for the deer anymore because we're not doing the deer breeding and stuff anymore but i was in here doing something the other day i met him when we first got the little hammer bow and shooting it that night and I guess I was in here talking about it and somebody saw the deer in the background and wanted to know the story. I know I've got several videos out from the deer breeding and all and Tim over at Cotton Top 3 has got a video or two when he came down here. Oh, um, but what these are to answer those questions, these are replicas of some deer that came from extreme whitetails, which is no longer there out of Missouri. This is what we used to use when we bred our does. These are just replicas. Oh, um, this one, matter of fact here, I think this one's deer's name was PowerPoint. It's been so long, I don't forgot. This is PowerPoint or that's PowerPoint. I mean, these are, these were some studs. This one's the little deal. We had these things when we carried them to shows and stuff where you could take the horns off and put them in the trailer. That one's a little jacked up. That's why it's down there. Oh. Uh, this was Max Bow XL. He was one of the top breeders in the country for a while. I think that's like a three-year-old set of horns there. This I used this deer a lot. Uh, at the time we was breeding, Max Bow uh, XL semen was so valuable, we didn't use it a lot here. We used a lot of this deer. It's Max Bow Select. Nice deer. This deer right here was raised, born and raised in Alabama. That is a stud. That's one of my favorites all of overall because he's so typical. Just a super, super nice heavy horned deer. So that's kind of the story behind these. These, most of the, all these are replicas. And this was actually, a, I think that was a set of his sheds and there's a couple of his cutoffs there. But I think this was, this was a year that we kept his horns on the breed. He was one of them deer that was not real aggressive to the does and all. So we left his horns on one year and let them, let them fall off. Stood right there. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all one more story. This deer right here has been sitting here for years, uh, years now. I'm trying to remember how, how long it's been sitting here. Oh. Uh, this is a deer I killed over in Mississippi. Man, I know it's been probably 15 years ago, maybe. This is to date, unless the one I killed this year is bigger, oh, uh, I can't remember. I hadn't even, I, this is, this, I've never really scored much of my deer. It just really never meant that much to, to score them. But this was, this was the best one I killed ever, and the biggest one, unless the one I killed this year he is. I hadn't scored, I need to score him just to see, but this deer scored, I think he was 159, 158, 157, one tall, I think it ended up being gross in 159. That's a lot of deer, 90% of it. He's got a little kicker here and one over here, but most of that was done as an eight point. I mean, he's a stud. And uh, I killed him on the ground. I killed him with a rifle. Because one morning I was sitting in a ground blind 
There's a couple of trails there. One was about 70, 80 yards and one was close. And I actually had my bow and my rifle. And this dude steps out at about 80 yards and it wasn't no need in, in uh, waiting. And I actually, I just thinking about it, this deer was a killed about 250, 300 yards from where I killed that big 10 point the other day. Just a super little spot that stays quiet. Uh, I'm about the only one that goes in there and hunts it. And it's just a, just a nice, nice little, I need to hang this deer up. I've never hung him up. Is he not a stud though? I mean a stud. A stud. All right, let me sit him down. I got one more thing to show y'all. And uh, I need to hang him up somewhere. It's pretty set at home. Anyway, y'all seen me wear my Cotton Top 3 hoodie that I like. It's the same type of hoodies that we've got. But uh, I've been wanting one of these things. I bugged Tim about it and bugged Tim about it. And the last time I saw him, look what he gave me. <coughs> I told him, <coughs> excuse me. I told him that kind of had to go about it the right way, you know. So I told Tim, I said, every time I see him, he's, he wears these zip-up hoodies a lot. And I like them because you can zip them up and ain't got to put them on. I wish I had them one for every day like this. And I'm thinking about getting us some of these made. I don't know yet, but. Oh. Uh, just put it on and zip it up. But every time I saw Tim and he had it on, I said, man, I sure do like that zip-up hoodie. Sure do like that zip up hoodie. Next time, I guess he got tired of me uh, talking to him about it. Next time I saw it, I got me one. How about that? Got me a gift from a huge YouTuber. Them things are nice too. I mean, they're warm and comfortable. If I don't quit eating, it's gonna be too little. But anyway, that's gonna work. But that's about all I got for today, nothing major. Just uh, wanted to talk about them. I knew I had a few comments from new subscribers and I wondering about the deer and they're huge, but the breeding business is over for us. We're just kind of kind of working on some other stuff and uh, I'm just kind of cooling it right now. I've been seven days a week for about 12 years now, just kind of deciding exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, right now we're gonna hunt and in, enjoy life a little bit that I haven't got to do in the last 10 years. And that's about it. But I'm finna call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.